The intense heat would fry you in seconds, your blood boiling before you even realize what's happening. Maybe you lucked out and landed at night. The temperature drop would flash freeze you. It's like being tossed from a fire straight into the Arctic ice in worse way. Surviving the temperature is only the beginning. Mercury's gravity is just 38% of Earth's. You think that your weight is less. Without significant gravity, your body would feel unanchored and walking would be disorienting. Plus, without an atmosphere, there's no air to breathe. The vacuum of space would suck the air out of your lungs and you'd black out in seconds. The solar radiation. Mercury's proximity to the sun means it's bathed in a constant stream of deadly radiation. Without a magnetic field to protect you, like Earth has, it's like standing next to a nuclear reactor without suit. Even the latest NASA spacesuit can only withstand only 121 degrees Celsius or 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Nowhere near the Mercury's daytime temperature of 430 degrees Celsius or 870 degrees Fahrenheit at nighttime temperature. The temperature dropping to minus 180 degrees Celsius or minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Venus, the brightest object in our night sky after the moon. First, let's talk about Venus's atmosphere. It's not breathable. Instead, it's a suffocating cocktail of carbon dioxide and clouds of sulfuric acid. And the pressure? It's 92 times greater than Earth's, equivalent to being 3,000 feet underwater. Step onto the surface, and your body would be crushed instantly. Let's pretend you could survive the crushing pressure. Venus is 900 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than Mercury, even though it's farther from the sun. That's hot enough to melt lead. In just seconds, your suit would disintegrate and you'd be cooked alive like a human pizza. Venus's surface is dotted with active volcanoes. In fact, it's the most volcanic planet in the solar system. Rivers of lava flow across its barren landscape. Step in the wrong spot, and you'd be swallowed by molten rock. Venus experiences acid rain, literal sulfuric acid falling from the sky. While it doesn't reach the surface because of the heat, the clouds above you would be constantly churning this deadly rainstorm. From Venus, the sun appears much dimmer than on Earth because of the planet's thick clouds. Venus's upper atmosphere has hurricane-force winds reaching 220 miles per hour, or 350 kilometers per hour. That's enough to tear apart anything we'd try to send there. Mars the red planet, humanity's future home. Mars's atmosphere is your first problem. It's 95% carbon dioxide and has almost no oxygen, just 0.13% compared to Earth's 21%. Take one breath and your lungs would scream for air that isn't there. You'd pass out in about 15 seconds. The low pressure, just 0.6% of Earth's, would make your blood boil. Mars's temperature is a whole new beast. During the day, it might reach a tolerable 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius near the equator. But at night, temperatures plummet to negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 73 degrees Celsius or lower. Your suit's heater better work over time or you'll freeze solid. You're not safe from Mars's infamous dust storms. These storms can last for months, covering the entire planet. The dust? It's electrostatically charged and could clog your equipment, your lungs, and even your suit's filters. And the winds? while not as strong as hurricanes on Earth, can reach 60 miles per hour, or 100 kilometers per hour. It's like being sandblasted to death. Imagine standing near Olympus Mons, the tallest volcano in the solar system. At 13 miles high, it's three times taller than Mount Everest. And don't get me started on the Valles Marineris, a canyon system so massive it would stretch across the entire United States. Then there's the radiation. Mars doesn't have a magnetic field or a thick atmosphere to shield it from the sun's rays. Mars is 140 million miles from Earth. If something goes wrong, rescue is impossible. Jupiter. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. A gas giant so massive it could fit 1,300 Earths inside. There's no solid ground on Jupiter. It's a gas giant made mostly of hydrogen and helium. So, if you tried to land, you wouldn't land at all. You'd fall. Entering Jupiter's atmosphere, you'd face winds moving at 400 miles per hour or 640 kilometers per hour, the pressure starts to crush you. At just 155 miles or 250 kilometers down, the pressure is 12 times higher than Earth's sea level. Your lungs collapse, your rib cage break in, and the temperature? It's already climbing past 600 degrees Fahrenheit or 315 degrees Celsius. You'd soon approach the Great Red Spot, a massive storm twice the size of Earth that's been raging for centuries. Winds reach 400 miles per hour and lightning bolts flash, 
with 1,000 times the energy of Earth's lightning. One strike and you're vaporized instantly. The hydrogen gas around you compresses into a strange form called metallic hydrogen, an exotic material that conducts electricity like metal. Temperatures soar to 43,000 degrees Fahrenheit or 24,000 degrees Celsius. Don't forget Jupiter's deadly radiation belt. Its magnetic field is 14 times stronger than Earth's. Saturn Saturn, the second largest planet in the solar system. Saturn has no solid surface. It's a giant sphere of gas, mostly hydrogen and helium. So if you try to land, you'll just keep falling. Now you're falling deeper. The winds hit up to 1,800 kilometers per hour, or 1,100 miles per hour. Even the strongest spacesuit would rip apart. You'd lose consciousness in under 15 seconds as your lungs fill with hydrogen and helium. The deeper you go, the heavier the air gets. At around 1,000 kilometers down, the pressure is 1,000 times higher than Earth's sea level. It now reaches 1,000 degrees Celsius, or 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. You'd eventually reach Saturn's mysterious core. But it's not solid rock. It's a superheated ball of dense material. A mix of metal, rock, and ice surrounded by metallic hydrogen, where hydrogen acts like metal under extreme pressure. The heat is over 11,000 degrees Celsius, or 20,000 degrees Fahrenheit, twice as hot as the surface of the sun, Uranus. Let's imagine you're falling into this strange, icy giant. Uranus looks peaceful, a pale blue-green sphere spinning silently in space. First, there's no solid ground. Uranus is mostly gas and icy materials, hydrogen, helium, methane, and ammonia. Temperatures drop to minus 224 degrees Celsius or minus 371 degrees Fahrenheit. That's colder than anywhere on Earth. You fall deeper. The methane gives the clouds their blue-green color. Winds here are brutal, reaching 900 kilometers per hour or 560 miles per hour. They're strong enough to kill you. At first, it's like being under Earth's ocean. But the deeper you go, the air gets thicker and heavier. Your lungs couldn't handle it even if you had oxygen. The gas outside is unbreathable, like hydrogen, helium, methane, and ammonia. At around 1,000 kilometers down, the pressure is intense. From freezing cold, it climbs to thousands of degrees Celsius as you get closer to Uranus's core. Neptune, the planet far away from the Sun. Both Neptune and Uranus is similar with their climate and temperature. Neptune has no solid surface. It's a giant ball of gas and ice, mostly hydrogen, helium, methane, and ammonia. At the top, it's minus 218 degrees Celsius or minus 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Without a suit, you'd freeze instantly. Your skin would turn into glass. Then the winds hit. Neptune storms are faster than anywhere else in the solar system up to 2,100 kilometers per hour, or 1,300 miles per hour. The deeper you go, the air thickens. The pressure rises fast, thousands of times Earth's atmosphere. Even metal would crumple like paper. From freezing cold, temperatures climb to thousands of degrees. Is a strange ocean of water, methane, and ammonia 